Okay, I am back and I activated the fly from anywhere seat. So, we are in here right now. The only way through that warp up there is by flying up to it. Cause you can't reach it otherwise. You could levitate up there, there is a levitate seat, but I think flying, well, I guess it would be easier with levitating. Although you wouldn't be able to do big bomb with levitating, so, yeah. But anyway, I got five feathers, so let's go up and see if we can get up through that. Get up! Oh, wow. Okay, so that doesn't work. But... Nope. That warp doesn't do anything. Well, that blows. If you try to go anywhere out there, outside the walls, then you're gonna be teleported back to start. Maybe even die outside of that and go back to the start as well, so... You don't wanna really do that. Oh, there's a couple other red feathers there too. Oh. Oh, I still have it enabled. Let me deactivate it. Okay, I turned it off. And yeah, that's unfortunate. So I literally have nowhere else to go in this level. Literally nowhere. Because that warp up there didn't work. It would just take you out of bounds. I'm down here, I, there are some notes on the, these trees, so, gotta collect those. Unfortunately, there's no way to get into Sandy Butt's tomb. Okay, hello everybody, I have done some research and I found out that there is actually a walkthrough wall code that you could input, and look at this. I'm actually inside the pyramid. So, let's see, would this loading zone even, no. This loading zone doesn't actually really work that well. Oh! I'm actually gonna try and go to the top of the pyramid and see what happens. Jagging, whoa! Oh, shit. Well, that just happened. Thankfully, I still have my notes, but... I did not want to do... <laughs> you gotta be really careful with this. <laughs> okay. This is the fun. Hey, you can see the door. Hey, why you, how are you doing? Well, you can get in there, but it doesn't really go anywhere. Uh. Oh my god, this is creepy as hell. No! That was a death. And I still have my stuff. Ooh-wee! Okay. That is close. Alright, I'm going to see if I can actually do what I need to do in this level with the no clip. And yeah, I'll see you when I can actually see what I can get into. Okay, I'm over here and I can go through this door, so let's see if this is normal or it'll actually put us in Sandy Butt's tomb. Oh yeah!
Well, it took us inside here. Not where I wanted to be, but... Great music, though. If I hit this, we're gonna see the egg. Why? Okay. That makes more sense. The stop and swap eggs are now jiggies. So that's what they look like. I don't think I'll collect it, though. Even though we're right here. You know what? Why not? We're right here. Might as well. Oh, an egg! I'm sure we'll find a use for this somewhere. And this is gonna take us right out the same entrance. Yes! Oh, well. Will you stop falling into that? I'm not doing that. Okay, let's see. This is gonna be the same. This will go inside, yeah. And then when we exit out of here, it's going to take us there. E even if we fall through this... Oh, why not? Oh. We'd have to enter from the wall. <gasps> oh! Yes! We are finally in Shandy Bus Tomb. Oh, wow. That actually worked. Now I wish I could have tried it in Treasure Trove in a previous seed where that one warp in the ship didn't work, but I bet the no clip would actually warp somewhere. Oh yes. Woo -wee. Okay. Now I can turn off the no clip sheet and we can actually move forward. Ah, that does suck though that I had to use a no wall clip in order to get in here. But thankfully we have made it and we can actually get through this, so let's go! You chose not to heed our warning. Although for some reason we are still kind of glitching a little bit. We're still not... I turned off the cheat and yet we can still go through the walls. Alright, uh, let's clip this. I mean hit this. Big box to it, you know what I'm saying. Mumble token. Okay, let's go through here. Let's move. Okay, you cannot go through there. Oh, now it's not working. Because the cutscene worked. Be the cutscene reset the uh, game, so now we can no longer go through the walls. Oh my god. Okay. What? Excuse you. So every time you enter the room, the timer resets. There are some notes in here, so yeah. We gotta get that. You know what? Die. There you go. How do you like that? Yep, there's a couple notes over there. Uh, are there any way right here? Yes, there are. Wow, it seems like a, a lot of notes went in here. And there's the Jingo! I had to have gone in there in order to get that Jingo, wow. Uh, we're on a time limit, dude. No time to celebrate, let's go! Oh, shit! No! No, we are not going to die! No, we are not going to die. No. No. Oh my god! Okay. We are back. The emulator crashed when I was trying to activate no clip 
in order to escape the wrath of Sandy, but because there was five seconds left and I couldn't clip through the walls, I couldn't make it because this door here, when you enter, closes. So you can't go back there. I tried to go back there to reset the timer, didn't work because the door was closed. So yeah, I was going to die unless I was able to magically get through. You can, you can see those spikes there. But I just tried using the shoes and opening the door up there and going up to the top and falling in. The warp actually worked this time. So I think maybe the no clip actually triggered it to actually work this time. So, yeah, with that out of the way, let's go. We can get this stuff now. We, oh, oh yeah. I reloaded the save state, so it took me outside of the pyramid. So, I, it looks like I have to reset the timer a few times in order to get this to work in my favor because there's quite a few notes here. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to get this done. I save stated at the beginning of the tomb though. So, that way, if the emulator crashed again or if something doesn't work, then I can just reload the save date. We gotta be sure that we're getting near the exit when the timer gets low. Cause we do not want to die in here. Okay, nothing over there. 81 notes. Looks like we can go this way, but I want to restart the timer first. I could activate the no clip, but it doesn't actually help with the emulator in this. Gotta collect the rest of those. Oh, right, let's see. Over here, yep, we got two notes here. Not too bad. Looks like that goes right to the beginning. Up, oh, we gotta go this way. This might be the last one. 84. Okay, I wanna check down there again. Make sure we have everything, but before I go down there, I want to reset the timer. The other door is closed. You can't go over there and reset it. So don't even try like I did the first time. Okay, looks like we have everything here. What about down here? No. Nope. Oh. Wow. Okay. There's an area down there. But I need to go back to the actual starting area. To get there. So let's reset the timer once more. We have to go back around here. and then get over to this area. There is a note here. Okay, now we can actually exit. I believe we got everything here, so... If we didn't, then... I'm, then we can get in here again, so... Nothing to worry about now. Empty honeycomb, how are you doing? Uh, by the Lord knows I need more of those. Mumble token. And right here we have a note 
A light and a red bubble. Wow, three things in one. Not too bad. There we go. Okay. Wow. 88 notes, 10 jiggy, 2 of 2 empty honeycombs, although... Hmm. We still have none for 3 jiggy. We have 1 of 2 for bubble cloak. We have 2 of 2 for clankos. Two of two for Trevor and Mumbo, so that's good. Two for two for Mad Monster, two for two for Quick Walk. Okay, not too bad. Now we can exit out of here. Well, this would go out the normal entrance. Yeah, about that. Okay, there we go. I think we now have everything in this level. So. That was weird, that the first time we tried going in there, it didn't work. And maybe by activating some of the other, um, warps, that it finally enabled this one to work. Or maybe it got working again after I used the note clip and entered through the side to get the trigger to work. So, yeah, there you have it. Everything is done. So yeah, we can now leave Gobi Valley and never speak of this level again. We don't even have to come back here because I got that... Wait, I didn't. I didn't get the stopping block. Or did it... No, it didn't. Oh, because the emulator crashing... It didn't save the blue egg. Oh, you suck. <laughs> ah, who cares. Still, if you guys want to, if you guys want me to get the stop and swap eggs at the end, I will get them then. Even coming back here to get them. But now we can exit out of this forsaken level. And now move on to Click Clock Wood. So, okay, let's go in here. We can just walk through the levels to get to Click Clock Wood. We can go there, come out in here, this is Trigger Troll. So when we get out of here... I don't know if I commented on that music yet in Trigger Troll, but that's the... Game over music, I believe. Here's Free Gigi. And when we exit out of here, that will take us out of the Free Gigi entrance where Clanker's Cavern is. And then out of Clanker's Cavern will be Click Clock Wood. Maybe, maybe not the fastest way to get to Click Clock Wood, but. It's a surefire way of getting there. But I think I'm going to stop it here before going into Click Lock Wood. Because I've been recording for over an hour now, maybe an hour and a half. And I don't know how long I've been go going through Gobi's Valley trying to get the stinking Sandy Bet's Tomb Warp to work. But it took the walkthrough wall sheet in order to actually get it working again by going on the side rather than the top. So, there you go. I haven't edited the video yet of the previous couple episodes, so I don't know if they are good or not, but we're gonna keep going and see what we can do. We got three seasons open so far, and winter is not open, so what have we really done here? We are still feeding that bird, eerie. So, let's get inside fall and see what we got. Okay. Yep, here's Eerie. We need 10 caterpillars. And the running shoes are in fall. Wow. Eek! Hungry animals like caterpillars. Oh my god. Yes, we do. We like caterpillars. We're gonna eat all of them up. So that way, Eerie has none to have. Eerie's not gonna get any. 
Banjo and Kazooie's gonna eat them all. Hallelujah. Okay. There's a little bit of flow down here and there, but I think that might just be on my end. Either that or it could be fall, I don't know. It is a huge level. But we can deal with it. I do need to get more of the uh, memory for my computer. I've got 32 gigs of RAM. I need 64 because, yeah, I've been using a lot of memory. Woo! Whoa! Whoop! I need more notes. These guys are big! Yeah, we got a note here, so that's nice. Whoa! Oh yeah, just made it past. Hey, there's an ice cube in fall. Ow! Idiot. How dare you? How dare you attack the great banjo? Got the avocado color. Ah, let me get this closer to me. Okay. I can talk a little louder, so that's good. But yeah. We're gonna collect all the notes. Maybe we'll have more than 90 notes in this one. Cause we have total... How many notes do we have total? 658. 78 jiggies and 16 empty honeycombs. We need eight more for that. Wow. Okay. We need 817 notes, so we still got quite a ways to go for the notes. But I don't know where a lot of them would be, though. We still have Rusty Bucket to do, so... We got that one to look forward to. No? You're not looking forward to Rusty Bucket? Aww. Who knows, maybe the engine room will actually be kind to us this time. You never know. Okay, let's go in here. Which would probably take us... Nope, it's normal. Oh, Mambo Biggie. Sweet many leaves. No magic today. How dare you. Will you get up there, you stupid... Okay. Yes, it's a good thing to come in here because we got a couple of notes. That's nice. Mumbo's got so many leaves to clean up in here. Wow, that'll take forever. Even those in the doorway. Whoa. All right, that's good. I wanted to go here anyway. Not really, but you know. Hey, what? Um, Nab Nab is not here. Oh my god, he, he left his home. He didn't have any more nuts to store for the winter, so he ran away. What? Royston! What are you doing? What's Royston doing over here? Don't tell me. Oh, Royston became the acorns. So Namnet is gonna eat voiced. Oh, oh, oh my god. We got kind of blue in this game. <laughs> Hello, dumbass. Hey there, bear buddy. I need six more acorns for voicedins in this case before winter comes. Have you seen any? Yeah, I got a voicedin right here for you. Oh my god. Oh boy. Poor voicedin. Never having the time of his life. Evil No-Eyed Pumpkin has taken over his spot in Banjo's home. So therefore, Royston has become Mr. Acorn because Banjo and Kazooie has turned into the Acorn from the Mumbo Transformation. So there is nothing else that could replace the Acorn but the... Uh, the fifth. So that kind of sucks. Oh, come on. You could grab that. There you go. 
I'm not gonna grab that extra life. That extra life is dangerous. Okay, let's go in here now. Where would this go? Right here. Not too bad. Roisting! Uh, but what? That's an extra life. That's not Roisting. I feel ripped off. Roisting, I... Oh my god. You deserve to be eaten. <laughs> What? No, 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 no. That was close. Whoa. Ooh, boy. Smash that button. Window open. Hallelujah. We'll get there eventually. Maybe we'll go there last, or we'll go there next, and then we'll go to spring, and then we'll go to summer. Or we could go to summer after winter, and then go to spring for last. And that way we'll have the B transformation as the final thing, and we'll see. It'll be like a surprise on what the B transformation could be. So we could go... Okay, so spring, summer, fall, winter. So south, west, east, north is the order that we're gonna be going in. So well, that's nice. That running shoes is going on forever. This is the longest wear of the running shoes of all time. Or is this Or is this the Wonder Wing? This could be the Wonder Wing music. Hello, J Jiggy. Screw you, Snail Bear. You suck. You go away. Me no like you. Okay, this is normal. Oh, nothing there. No Jiggy. It probably transported itself. Teleported itself to the top of that snowball. Will you get your back up there, Banjo? What? Dude! Yes, I need to get up there. Banjo, you stupid, stupid bear. Oh my god. We need <laughs> this bear does not know how to platform. This bear sucks. <laughs> All right, we got the acorn. That's good. Two more. But where would they be? Who knows? Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh! Okay, we're good. Big steam bun! Tiny steam bun! Oh, you're a big jingle. Woohoo! Two more of those caterpillars, and then we can finally feed the bird. Nothing in here for you now, bear. We've all moved out. Oh, really? That's all the gold feathers. 193. Oh my god. So, 43 red feathers. 193 gold. You suck. And <laughs> 213 blue eggs. So they all ended on a number three. That is interesting. But I was hoping that the stinking um, red feather would have had more of that. Like maybe up to over 100 for red feathers. That would have been nice. But no. It's not even at its normal 50. Not even 53. Oh my god, Matt. Would you 
get out of the boot. Stop drifting on me and cancel the boot. <gasps> oh my god. A rogue floats them. They need to go back to Rusty Bucket where they belong. Hello, Royston. How you doing? Are you ready to go into Nabnut's mouth and digest in his stomach? That's not a pretty sight, I'll tell you that. Hello, Gobi! Let me pound on your back. Feed the plant. Get a jiggy. A blue egg with yellow. Oh my god. Right, that's it. I'm off to the uh, lava world. You'll never find me there. Unfortunately, we will. Because... I don't know if there was supposed to be a lava world in this game. There is the unused level Mount Bio Eyes, which eventually became Hellfire Peaks in Banjo Tui. And that's where we find Gobi. We're in. I do not want to die. Give me your health immediately. I did not want to die to you. Oh my god. Woo! Oh! Okay, let's go in this guy's house because I'm pretty sure he has a jiggy for us. Unless we already collected it. Nope, there's a jiggy there. There's a note there. And nothing else. Um, okay, camera was going a little wacky there. That's all the red feathers and that's, I mean, gold feathers and that's the, all the eggs. Extra life, even though we didn't need it. Hello, you suck. Let me big buster you in the head. There you go. Hope you got a big headache after that. Oh, what? Beavers don't get headaches? Oh, you lucky bastard. That losing the air sound effect, I believe, is the zooming out sound effect. At least, I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. Okay. Now we can actually go up the tree. Collect some more stuff on the way. Go away, you stupid clucker. Nobody likes a clucker. Ooh, we got another son of a caterpillar, and we, oh! We got an egg! All right, nine eggs in this world. How many jiggies do we have now? Six, four more, and 75 more notes. That's a lot of notes. Speaking of notes, there's one right over here. That's not normally there. But it's nice to have. Is there a note? Uh, yep, there's a note all the way over there. Let's get it. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Collect the red feather too. We need a lot more of that. Out of all the Cheeto pages, of, why do I keep saying pages? It's not Banjo Tui. Out of all the Cheeto spells in this game, the Red Feather one will be the most useful. Because I don't know if the feather would actually reset if we enter the gold feather sheet and the eggs. I don't know if they would reset. If they do, if the gold feather goes back down to 20 after the input in the sheet, we are gonna cancel that. And same with the gold, uh, the blue eggs. If the blue eggs go down to 200, well, it doesn't really matter, but having 13 extra uh, eggs might be useful, you know, you never know. So. Are there any notes on top of the house? Mm, 
no! Okay. Don't you dare fly over here. Yeah. Get it. Oh my god, man. Way to waste the feathers, man. Hello. Come at me, bro. There you go. Ah. Goodbye, honey. Oh. There's a mumbo token, but I'm not gonna get that. Then I'd have to climb all the way back up here, and Lord knows we can't have that. Alright, do I have all of them now? I do, okay. Yippee, that's all the acorns I need. Here, take this. I'll see you in spring. How dare you push me? Um, you're facing the wrong way, dude. <laughs> okay, let's go feed Dewey. I already defeated all of these. Oh, you can't defeat the steam vent, but... Oh, well. Hello, bud! You could stand to eat three more caterpillars, you know that, right? Just so I can be rid of the caterpillars, you know? Eat! Banjo, how about you go over and stick the caterpillars up his- <laughs> Ow! Cool! We didn't die. That's the first. Oh my god. The thing is extending out of the tree here. Wow. You don't see that every day. I think we're done in uh, fall. I don't think there's anything more left to get here. So yeah, we, we can leave. Goodbye fall, never to see you again. I, I will get this mumbo token over here though. Oh crap. Hey, good thing I looked over. We get out of my way! Good thing I looked over here. I almost missed these two notes. Plus the glorious feathers. I almost missed all that. Wow, that would not have been cool. Whew, there you go. Let's go in winter, shall we? Go away. Whew. Alright, Eerie's going to be a hatched, well not hatched, but a fully grown bird at this point. You need to go back to Treasure Trove where you belong. Ow! Oh no 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 Ow! This ice is a ruthless. Mother Apple. Whew, I need all of these health. Good job. Oh, nope. Good thing I got that. Although that would that's not really hard to miss if you see it on the way out. I wonder if there's any sort of slushes in here. There's usually usually one up by the uh, which switch, but I don't know if he's there. I haven't heard him yet We do have to go under the stinking water or the ice you can't go under yeah, I don't know Not the bull crap Go away Extra life how you doing? Uh, let's see. Nope. Ow, right in the face.
There you go, we got that Jiggy showing up there. We got this guy who... We didn't need to do that. Okay, let's use the fly pad, get up there. I'm going to do the ice thing last before we leave winter. Because, you know, that's a smart thing to do. There should be notes on top of this house. Nope. I'm pretty sure there isn't. Although I'm trying to see on this far left here. There's three feathers, but... Nope. I'm good. No. Go away. That termite, no. Who is boping? Are we inside Clanko or something? Hey, Jinjo, what's up, buddy? What? Well, we do have a first slush over there, but that Minjo fell all the way to the floor. Oh my god. Hopefully he dies. <laughs> Shut up! What the burping? My god! Nasty boy! No! The fucking drifting almost made me fall off the platform. Alright, let's get inside here where it's safe. Hello! Dreaming about acorns. Whoa! Well, hey, you just passed your best note score for this world. Really? 25, huh? Really? Okay, go back in there. Is this normal or... Nope. Okay. Ooh, there is a note under here. The notes have been showing up in a lot of places that it normally wouldn't be in, in this playthrough. That is interesting. <laughs> Trying to imagine how many notes would be in different locations in Rusty Bugger Bear. If they're giving more notes in the engine room or or what? Alright, hello Eerie. Eerie, mighty eagle at last! Watch me as I fly into the sky and crop out a jiggy. Ew! I have reward for bear friend. Here it is. I don't want to touch it, but I have to increase it on my collection. I have to include it in my collection. I have 11 jiggies. Good lord, man. That's because of the fact that a couple of the jiggies have been duplicated, so I have eight. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, come on. Go away, bull. Really? Will you stop running in different directions, dude? Remember we on vacation, you have a fool. Come back in spring. There's no honeycomb here. How the hell are you talking, Cody? Well, she, uh, she tooted out of existence. She turned into a minjo and tooted out of existence. Yeah, that's what happened. Let's go with that. I was about to whack that door, a uh, window rather, and... Well, 
this ice boot needs to go. There you go. Woo! Let's pound it! Woo! Nice! Hey, this is the room that we wanted. Any jiggy you can hear? Other than the huge things? Nope, nothing here. Is there anything up there? No, oh my god. We have gone in here for nothing other than a mumbo token. We haven't been in here yet. This is normal. Hey, mumbo token. How you doing? Nothing over there. Um... He just clipped himself out of existence. Rest in peace. There's nothing else in here, looks like. Not even a ginger. Huh. Okie dokie. Nice music though. No. You go away. You stupid bullcrap. Oh. I heard that. <laughs> it came out of the left ear. With the, the sound of the burp. And it sounded like the bull burped. <laughs> okay, where are we going next? I don't know. Let's go down here, shall we? There is a so slush up here, but... Will you move the camera? There is a note. Ow. Oh, you sack of bullcrap. You know what? Give me your honey. I'm gonna fly up, and I'm gonna kill that guy. Oh, almost grabbed the note. You know what? You need to die. Good job. He wasn't throwing the snowball that time though, but I guess I caught him by surprise that I was flying. He has never seen a flying bear before. So he was surprised and he couldn't get out of snowball in time to defend himself. So he died. Set up. Who the hell is doing Ah, <laughs> uh, let's go into the beehive. There's usually a mumbo token there, but this time it could be an empty honeycomb. Nope. Why would it be an empty honeycomb? I didn't even get that fucking jiggy in fall with the flower. Oh my bear. How come nobody told me? It's all your fault. Hey! Die! Hey! Ow! Hey! Alright, it's time to go under the ice. Yes, that's right. Swim under there. Icy water takes double air. Will you stop drifting right, you stinking bear? I guess what I could... No. It could still be an extra life over there, but... I'll check. What's happening? There's another Jiggy in here. Naughty gave us two jiggies. Cool! I don't usually get visitors in winter. Wow, lag. Anything behind here? Nope. Wow, looks like that fire is cogging the lag. Wow, good job. 
<laughs> okay, we gotta get back in here as soon as we look over here. That's an extra life. Don't need it. I don't need it. Okay. I don't trust going back there. Let's go! Move your butts! We gotta get over there! Now! Wait for it! Oh! Yes! There we go! We got it! We made it! Woo -wee. Okay! Let's go back to fall and I can get that stinking jiggy that I missed! And then we'll get over into summer. So I will be right there. Hello. That's where you went. Goodbye. I got a message. 